Oh, 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 three, two, one, at the buzzer! Oh, and he blows it. The winner by one shot. But wait, what's this? A foul on the shot? I was nowhere near you. <laughs> and that's the game, folks. What a comeback. What a load of sh Which one is that? Passion fruit, but my favorite is island berry. That smell is gross. It's so sweet and soapy. You smoke cigarettes? Now that's gross. And they will kill you. <laughs> and do you think vaping won't? I bet it's just as bad. I still can't believe Mom is making us go to this thing. You know, it's not too late to take off. We could make up some excuse about your womanly issues. Or your lack of intelligence to learn anything new. What? <laughs> Ouch. Hey, you two. Let's get in there. Thank you again for inviting me tonight to share some of the plants our people use as medicines. Plants like sage and cedar, which can be used for smudging to help purify and clear the air. I wouldn't mind smudging my lungs right now. <laughs> Quiet. Do you know what this is? I don't know. Leaves? <laughs> this is traditional tobacco. It looks and smells a lot different than what you find in cigarettes. It has an almost sweet smell to it. Here, take a look. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Get out your rolling papers. <laughs> <laughs> what you see in cigarettes are leaves that are processed with lots of chemicals added. The tobacco plant, when cultivated and dried, has a golden yellow and light brown color to it. Used in ceremony, tobacco is a sacred plant with immense healing and spiritual power. It has been used as a medicine for thousands of years by indigenous people and should be treated with great respect. Many First Nations communities use traditional tobacco, but some don't, as it hasn't been a part of their culture. Tobacco was put on this earth as a gift to help us connect and communicate with the Creator. The most common way when tobacco is used in ceremony is to burn it in a sacred pipe and open fire or on coals. The pipe ceremony is used to call on Creator and our ancestors during gatherings. We offer pipe smoke in the four directions and the Mother Earth and Father Sky. The smoke is not meant to be inhaled, but released up towards the Creator with our thoughts and prayers. A pinch of tobacco is sometimes added to sage, sweetgrass, cedar, or juniper when smudging for clearing energies in the space and purifying the body, mind, heart, and spirit. Remember, plants are our relations. Just like the rivers and animals, they have a spirit just like each one of you, and we must respect and nurture them. <laughs> it's the giggle bugs. These two would like to apologize for how they were acting. We're sorry. This may be hard to believe, but I was once young too. <laughs> when dinosaurs roamed the earth. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I know there are a lot of places you'd rather be than here, but I'm glad you came tonight. I hope I didn't put you to sleep. Oh, maybe just a tiny nap. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe I can make it up to you. What are y'all doing this Saturday? I'm stuffed. Oh, man, that was amazing. Now I'm convinced you're trying to put us to sleep. <laughs> you sure you don't have room for seconds? Another bite, and I'll be in a coma. <laughs> Before you take another nap, I have a question. I know you've set an extra plate of food for our ancestors, but did you make a tobacco offering as well? I did. As a sign of respect, I sprinkled tobacco on clean ground or the fire with every feast. Cool. So all this food came from your garden? It's like I was saying, the land gives us everything we need as long as we respect and nurture it. You're here at the right time. The medicines are nearly ready for harvesting. Come on, let's walk off this meal. So 
So you really never smoke any of this? When I was a young man, everyone smoked. It was what we did back then. Until one day, I met a wise elder who talked to me about respecting tobacco and how important it was to our culture. Sort of like you guys with me. <laughs> I started on my healing journey and he introduced me to cultural teachings that really helped me figure out what I wanted for my life and what I needed to do to stay healthy. I learned to really value and respect my body and myself. I quit smoking over 30 years ago now, and I'm so grateful I made that change in my life. You guys like singing, dancing, basketball? Well, for pretty much anything, you need strong, healthy lungs. Take it from someone who knows what fudged up lungs feel like. Can I touch the plant? Sure, but be very careful with the leaves. You have to remember that these plants are our relations. It's up to us to take care of them, to harvest, to use responsibly, so that future generations will be able to learn about tobacco and pass on the teachings. How do you harvest it? I carefully snip off the leaves so that new ones will be able to grow back. We don't want to just pull the plant out of the ground. That will kill it. It's important to remember that when we take from the land, we give something back. We sprinkle tobacco as a way to say thank you for what we have taken. Dried leaves can also be placed in the water or near sacred places as a way to offer respect and gratitude to the land and our relations. It's also used to gift elders and knowledge keepers in return for their guidance, healing, or leading a ceremony. Did you plant all of this? The garden? Yes. But back there is our pharmacy. Huh? Pre-contact. When we lived out on the land, it's our medicines that kept us healthy, along with what we ate. Not many people still harvest traditional medicines. But what I like about plants is that they're resilient and know how to heal, like us. Here, have some tobacco seeds. I can show you how to germinate them if you want. Really? <laughs> Are you sure? I'm afraid to think what these two might use them for. I have a feeling they're beginning to understand. Or at least doing a much better job of humoring me. This is actually kind of cool. Maybe we can harvest with you sometime. If you're free next week, I'd love to help. These old chicken legs aren't what they used to be. We'd like to thank you for teaching us to respect tobacco. <laughs> and for putting up with us. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs>